what you're so worried about, Father. The dam looks the same to me as it always has. That's because you don't know what to look for. Not that I'd expect you to. You haven't been keeping watch over this dam for the last 50 years like I have. Come, I'll show you what I mean. That'll be enough playing. This is serious business. See here, and here, and here. They just look like tiny cracks to me. That's all they are, right now. But winter's not far away. And these old bones of mine tell me there's gonna be a lot of snow up in the mountains this winter. But we're in the valley, Father. What do the mountains have to do with us? Come spring, the snow in the mountains will melt. When the water flows down, It'll fill up this pond higher than ever. The dam won't take the pressure. It'll crack, and then the water from the pond will rush down into the meadow and... But... but all the little people and the flowers live in the meadow. All except for you and me. Ah, sometimes I wish I hadn't taken the job as watchkeeper of the dam all those years ago. Sometimes I wish we'd lived down in the meadow with the others, so you'd have friends to play with. Oh, I haven't minded, Father. But... What are we gonna do now? We have to warn everyone. Yes, we do. But luckily for us, spring is a long way away. But so is the meadow. That's true. And it's too far a journey for an old man like me. But you're young. Me? It shouldn't take you more than a month or so to reach the meadow. When you get there, tell the prince about the cracks in the dam. He'll send soldiers back with you to repair it and everything will be all right. Then the whole kingdom is depending on me. The prince will probably give you a medal. I know you won't let us down. Oh, of course I won't, Father. I'll make you proud. I know you will. You've got enough food and water to last you a week, but there are plenty of nuts and berries along the way, and the morning dew should give you all the water you'll need. I'll be all right, Father. Remember, you must tell the prince to send soldiers with you to help repair the dam. If they don't get here in time, the dam will break and everyone in the meadow will be drowned. Goodbye, Father. I'll see you before too long. Goodbye, my daughter. Goodbye, my precious. Oh, what a hike. Well, I guess the first day of a journey is always the hardest. I'm sure gonna sleep well tonight. Ah. Uh. Ah. I'll get an early start in the morning. <sighs> oh, boy. Everyone's depending on me. I have to save the little people in the meadow. <laughs> There's to be one of them around here somewhere. I just know it. I can smell a little person around here, and my nose is never wrong. Where are you? Where are you hiding? I've got someone in the village who wants to meet you.
are you going to invite me in or stare at me all night? Um, oh, yes. Uh, please, come in. That's better. Now, let's get down to business. Time is money, you know. And speaking of money... The money? Uh, of course, I, I have it right here. I believe the price was 20 pieces of gold. But where is the child you promised to find me? Here we are. <laughs> that's no child, that's a, a tulip. Yes, but it's no ordinary tulip. Plant it in a flower pot and you shall soon have your child. This doesn't bring me a child. I, I'm going to find you and get my money back. Fine. I've never had to give a refund yet. Hmm. Maybe I should have asked the witch how long it would take for me to get a child. Oh, I hope I don't have to wait until spring. <gasps> oh, she's perfect. So beautiful. So tiny. Oh, she's everything I've ever dreamed of. My new daughter deserves a proper bed to sleep in. Be still, my precious. Sleep tonight. Tomorrow we'll get to know each other. I'm sorry, dear. I, I didn't mean to shout, but I'm so excited. How did I get here? Oh, that doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're here. No, what matters is that I've got to save the little people born in the flowers from... Hush now. We'll have plenty of time to talk later. See what I've made for you? A little lake and a boat for you to float on? You're not afraid of water, are you? I can see I have to be careful with you. You're no bigger than my thumb. I think I'll call you Thumbelina. <laughs> oh, bless you, dear. We've had a busy first day together. You get some rest, and we'll play again in the morning. get out of this place. I've got to get to the prince and warn him about the dam breaking. <laughs> She's just what I've been looking for, Ribbit. She'll make the perfect wife for that no-good son of mine. Come on, legs, don't fail me now. And away we go. Don't wake her up. If she takes one look at you, she'll run away, and then you'll have no wife. Ribbit. Ribbit. That's better, Ribbit. 
You stay here and start to build a house under that tree over there for you and your bride to be. I'm gonna put her on a lily pad so she can't escape. Start thinking wedding bells, honey. You're gonna be walking down the aisle. Oh, this is terrible. How will I ever get to the meadow? sure she's not a bug? Nah, let's bail. to the meadow of tulips in no time. And I could tell the prince about how the dam is gonna break in the spring. Don't you have anyone to help you? Are you all alone? No, I don't. I'd like to help you out, but I'm alone too. I've lost my flock and need to find my way south before winter. Anyway, I don't know where the meadow of the tulips is. There are hundreds of meadows around here. I understand, Swallow. I'd help you find your flock, but there are lots of little people counting on me. Well, if we had met at some other time, we could have been great friends. Good luck finding your flock, kind swallow. Oh, no. It's a storm. Oh, it's no storm. It's only me. I don't think I've ever seen a creature as magnificent as you. Oh, thank you, my dear. It's not often I get such a nice compliment. Where are you heading? To the Meadow of Tulips. You don't happen to know where that is, do you? Oh, certainly. I fly around there all the time. I'd be happy to give you a ride there. Great. Just tie your sash around me. 
Butterfly, I think this is the start of our beautiful friendship. Hmm. All right. Now, hold on. making such a fuss or I'll drop you and you'll be crushed when you hit the water. But now you've ruined everything. Stop wiggling. Don't you know how to behave? Why did you steal me away? I needed a pet. But I'm a little girl. So? Little girls aren't pets. Hmm. You're awfully small to be a girl. Well, I am. What's that ugly thing? My new pet. And it's not ugly. I'm not a pet. Look at her hair and those eyes. They're colorful. Not black like ours. Who cares about her eyes? Eyes are only good to see with. And where are her feelers? Don't tell me she doesn't have feelers. Oh, look at that thing. It only has two legs. And look at its waist. What waist? Oh, it's so puny. <laughs> What am I doing wasting my time talking to such an ugly creature? Here, you take it. You can have it. <laughs> now look at what you've done. My friends are all laughing at me because of you. I didn't do anything. You took me. Fine. Go back to whatever it was you were doing. You're a lousy pet anyway. start to fall. Father's depending on me to get help to fix that dam, and here I am out in the middle of nowhere. Well, I'm not gonna be of any use to anyone if I freeze overnight. Ooh, I'd better build myself some kind of shelter to keep warm, at least until I can find the meadow. Which direction the meadow's in? I can't stand these flies anymore. Ah, uh, poor Big Bear. Whoa. Oh, sorry, Thumbelina. I keep forgetting to sit down gently around you. Oh, it's all right, Big Bear. As long as you're around to catch me. I've got good news. I found a new beehive last night. Well, at least we'll have lots of honey. Did you have a chance to ask any of your friends which way the Meadow of Tulips is? I asked Ollie all. But he said he never heard of the Meadow Tulips. Let's worry about it later. Right now, we got honey waiting for us. Oh, it's so high up. I've climbed higher to get honey. But isn't it dangerous? Not for me, but it might be for you. Those bees could sting you. I battled one bee already, and that was enough. You stay here. I'll be right back with our honey. Be careful, Big Bear. The trick is to not move the hive too much. That way the bees won't get angry. You're not gonna sting Big Bear, are you? You know Big Bear's your friend. And friends share things, don't they? That's why you're not gonna be angry if I take some of your honey. That's good, little bees. That's nice, little bees. Oh, no! No! Help! Help! Oh, hey, stop that. 
Why don't you try picking on someone your own size? Yeah, why don't you try picking on someone your own size? Wolves. Big Bear saved my life. Now I've got to help him. Watch out, Big Bear! There's another wolf! Stronger than I think. I don't know about being strong, but you sure are brave. I'll say she is. I wouldn't have been brave enough to stand up to three wolves with just a twig. Thumbelina, meet my brothers, Billy Bear and Burton Bear. The wolves were running from them? So what? What you did took courage. No one could have a better friend than you. You really think so? I hate to break this up, but it's time for us to get to the sleep cave. Oh, that's all right, Big Bear. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm afraid not. You see, winter's coming, and when winter comes, all bears go into warm caves and snooze until spring. Spring? But if you don't help me find the meadow of tulips, the dam will burst, and everyone will be washed away. <laughs> Sorry, but if I don't get to the cave, I'll just curl up and go to sleep right where I am. Oh, nature's funny that way. So long, Thumbelina. You're right about the snow this winter. It's the middle of winter, and, and no closer to getting to the meadow of tulips. What else could possibly go wrong? Snowing. 
bound to be some food left over from the harvest. I'm not going to starve. Whoa! Whoa! Well, looky what we got here. You must be the farmer's wife. Thanks for helping me up, but why on earth would you think I'm the farmer's wife? Because the farmer who owns this here farm had such a small harvest, I figured you went and shrunk up from lack of food. <laughs> wife, and I don't think that's a very funny joke. Hey, what do you want, kid? I'm out here starving. You're not going to eat me for dinner, are you? Well, I wouldn't exactly call you a dinner. I'd call a chicken a dinner. I'd call a rabbit a dinner. But you barely qualify for the morsel category, so I wouldn't worry too much. But this is a farm. There must be something to eat. You're looking at it, kid. Of course, come spring, you might be able to get a little corn out of this cornfield. Did you say this is a cornfield? Yeah, a dead cornfield. There's got to be a few kernels of corn lying under the snow somewhere around here. That's all I need. Good luck. I'll bet there's some corn kernels right under this snow. <gasps> I got it! I found a corn kernel! Oh, it's only a pebble. I can't eat this. want? I'm cold. Hungry. I need food. Ugh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You're half frozen, child. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Oh, you up. The dam. I have to warn everyone. I have to fix the dam and help father. Wake up, child. You're having a nightmare. Am I... Am I in heaven? Oh, no, 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 no. But after what you've just gone through, I can understand your thinking that. But you must be an angel. Sweet of you to say so, dear, but I'm just an old mouse. My name is Mona. I'm Thumbelina. And now that we've been properly introduced, uh, have some barley soup, hmm? <laughs> Oh, I'm so g cold Oh, of course you are, my dear. You nearly froze out there. You won't turn me out, will you? I'll do anything you ask. Only don't turn me out, please. Oh, sh 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 easy, child. The first thing you have to do is, is get back your strength. Now, eat this and then get some sleep. We can talk in the morning. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, 
Every morning you greet me, soft and white, clean and bright. You look happy to meet me. Oh, my, oh, my, that was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Ah, oh, you sing most divinely, Zambalina. Oh, thank you, Mona. You've been so kind to me, but I gotta get to the meadow of... Yes, yes, I know. The meadow of the tulips. You have to stop the dam from breaking. I've stayed here and worked hard to show you how grateful I am to you for saving my life, but my father and everyone else in the meadow is depending on me. If I don't get there before the spring thaw and warn them, I... There, there. I heard you. Heaven knows you've told me the story about the cracks in the dam often enough this winter. Well, I've got good news for you. We're going to have a visitor very soon who may be able to help you. <laughs> really? Who? Oh, his name is Mr. Mole. He's an older gentleman. He, he can't see very well, of course, since moles spend most of their time underground. <laughs> but he's very rich, and he lives in a fine home much larger than mine. I think he'll be most happy to meet you. You will sing for him, won't you, dear? Oh, of course. But do you really think he knows the way to the Meadow of Tulips? Oh, well, moles are very smart, and they do spend a great deal of time underground burrowing. So I, I wouldn't be at all surprised if he knows of this meadow that's so very important to you. Now, go back to your dusting. We want the house to look especially nice when Mr. Mole arrives. Aha! Uh -huh. That's Mr. Mole. There! <laughs> you look divine. Thank you, Mona. I'm coming! I'll be right there! <laughs> ah. Why, Mr. Mole? How nice to see you again. Nice to see you, too, Mona. But, uh, I can see of you, that is. Why, you, you just sit right here and relax. And I'll introduce you to someone very special. Delightful! I've been looking forward to meeting Thumbelina. Bring her here. Mr. Mole, this is Thumbelina. Thumbelina, this is Mr. Mole. Pleased to meet you, sir. Mm, I must say that was a delicious dinner. Thumbelina, you're a wonderful cook. Thank you, sir. Um, Mona told me you might be able to help me find the Meadow of Tulips. Mm, the Meadow of Tulips? Yes, yes, but you remember, I told you all about how important it is for Thumbelina to get there so she can stop a dam from bursting. <clears throat> oh, yes, that, that's right, uh, the, the Meadow of Tulips. We'll certainly have to talk about that, won't we? Oh, yes, uh, just as soon as we all relax a bit. Uh, Thumbelina, dear, why don't you sing for Mr. Mole? But I thought we were going to talk about the Meadow of... But plenty of time for talking later. Sit over here where it's more comfortable. <laughs> and you sit on the couch with Thumbelina where you can hear her sing, Mr. Mole. <laughs> now, let's have a nice song for Mr. Mole. Blossoms of snow, may you bloom and grow, bloom and grow forever. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, bless my homeland forever. But I don't want to marry a mole. We've been over this for the last month. Mr. Mole has fallen in love with you, and you're going to marry him. But I'm not in love with him. Look. 
Look, once you marry Mr. Mole, he'll want to please you. He'll do anything you want. All you have to do is tell him you want to go to the Meadow of Tulips for your honeymoon, and <laughs> you'll be on your way. You really think he'll take me there? He loves you. He'll do anything you ask. Hello, Mona, Thumbelina. <laughs> I've been visiting so often I thought it would be easier just to dig a tunnel between my house and yours. See, I told you he's crazy about you. But why don't you both come and take a look at my tunnel? I'm sure Thumbelina can hardly wait. Mmm, I just love the smell of dirt in the morning. It's so dark in here, I can barely see. No, oh, you'll get used to it, my dear. You'll come to love the dark as I do. You find all sorts of interesting things in the ground. For instance, look at this. <gasps> now, how, however, did a bird get down here? Birds are not the smartest of creatures, you know. Oh, the poor thing. He looks like the swallow who sang to me once long ago. You could bet he won't be singing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't make fun of him. This could be the bird who sang to me. He was a sweet bird. Oh, don't be a silly girl. All swallows look alike. You can't tell one from the other. Unlike moles, which are quite distinctive. Mm -hmm. Especially one so noble looking as yourself. We've got to get back home. Young Bellino, are you asleep? should be buried without something to keep them warm. Mona and Mr. Mole won't do it, so I will. I don't care what they say. I think he looks exactly like the swallow who sang to me. There. At least you've got something to keep the chill away while you rest forever. Precious bird, I just want you to know that if you are the swallow who sang to me, that I love you very... <gasps> I... I hear a heartbeat. You're alive. Stay right here. Don't move. I'll be right back. Oh, I knew you were the swallow who sang to me. I just knew it. How did you end up down here? After I left you, I got lost. I spent the whole winter trying to survive. Then I wounded my wing on a thorn bush. When I landed, I dug into the ground to keep warm, and then I fell into this place. Well, lucky for you, Mr. Mole ducked this tunnel. <clears throat> Who's Mr. Mole? Oh, an old mole I'm to marry. For someone who's getting married, you don't sound very happy. That's because I don't want to marry him. I'll be well soon. I could fly you away from here. I can't go. When Mona, the mouse I'm living with, saved me, I... I promised her I'd do anything she asked. But maybe you could warn the little people. Do you know where the Meadow of Tulips is? No, I'm afraid I don't. Oh, that's all right. Even if you could find the Meadow, the little people would hide from you. I'm sorry. I'll miss you when I leave. And I'll miss you. 
and worse. The way this water's rising, the dam won't hold out much longer. Oh, my! Isn't this just the most beautiful dress you've ever seen? Yes, it's very beautiful. Well, you don't sound very excited. I'm sorry, Mona. It's just that it's spring now and the snow is thawing up in the mountains. It may be too late to fix the dam, but if I could get to the meadow, I could still warn everyone to leave. Now, just hurry and put on your dress. You don't want to be late for your own wedding, do you? Ah, oh, it feels so good to be in the sunlight. Mm -hmm. You're going to live underground for the rest of your life, so I thought you'd enjoy one last look at the sun in the sky. But... I thought you said Mr. Mole would take me to the Meadow of Tulips. I'm sorry to say so, Thumbelina, but you know moles spend their lives underground. You stay out here and enjoy yourself. I've got some last-minute wedding business to take care of. <laughs> what can be taking that old coop so long? If he dares to try backing out of our deal, I'll... Hello, Mona. Beautiful day for a wedding, isn't it? And even a more beautiful day to pay the one who introduced you to your blushing bride. I failed. I let down Father and the little people and the Prince. Everyone's gonna be swept away when the dam breaks and it'll be all my fault. <gasps> you came back! And with good news, I found the meadow of tulips you asked me about. Then there's still time. I promised to marry Mr. Mole. But if I don't go back and warn everyone about the dam bursting... Maybe Mr. Mole will let you put off the wedding long enough for you to go and warn everyone. That's a great idea. I'll ask Mona to... There's Mr. Mole. I think I've made a fine choice for a bride. Oh, Morton, uh, you'll have a little trouble with her at first. She thinks you're going to take her to the Meadow of Tulips for her honeymoon. Foolish girl! Doesn't she know moles spend their lives underground? Oh, she'll learn, Morton. I'm sure she'll learn. <laughs> I don't understand. Mona must have made a bargain with Mr. Mole. The bags of corn in exchange for her getting you to marry him. And he'll never take me to the meadow. She sold me to him. Mona lied to me all along. I'm not going to feel bad about leaving her. Take me to the meadow of tulips, Swallow. We've got work to do. Dam's gonna burst. It's too late. It's just too late. Huh? Some help from my friend.
The dam is saved. Thanks to your daughter. Your Majesty. Rise. I should be bowing before you. My people owe you a great deal. And I owe you my life. Will you marry me and be my princess? with Thumbelina, where you can hear her sing, Mr. Mole. <laughs> now, let's have a nice song for Mr. Mole. Blossoms of snow, may you bloom and grow, bloom and grow forever. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, bless my homeland forever. over this for the last month. Mr. Mole has fallen in love with you, and you're going to marry him. But I'm not in love with him. Look, once you marry Mr. Mole, he'll want to please you. He'll do anything you want. All you have to do is tell him you want to go to the Meadow of Tulips for your honeymoon, and <laughs> you'll be on your way. You really think he'll take me there? He loves you! He'll do anything you ask. <gasps> oh! Hello, Mona, Thumbelina. <laughs> I've been visiting so often I thought it would be easier just to dig a tunnel between my house and yours. See, I told you he's crazy about you. Why don't you both come and take a look at my tunnel? I'm sure Thumbelina can hardly wait. Mmm, I just love the smell of dirt in the morning. It's so dark in here I can barely see. No, oh, you'll get used to it, my dear. You'll come to love the dark as I do. You find all sorts of interesting things in the ground. For instance, look at this. <gasps> now, how, however did a bird get down here? Birds are not the smartest of creatures, you know. Oh, the poor thing. He looks like the swallow who sang to me once long ago. You could bet he won't be singing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't make fun of him. This could be the bird who sang to me. He was a sweet bird. Oh, don't be a silly girl. All swallows look alike. You can't tell one from the other. Unlike moles, which are quite distinctive. Mm -hmm. Especially one so noble looking as yourself. We've got to get back home. Thumbelina, are you asleep? No one should be buried without something to keep them warm. Mona and Mr. Moe won't do it, so I will.
And I don't care what they say. I think he looks exactly like the swallow who sang to me. There. At least you've got something to keep the chill away while you rest forever. Precious bird, I just want you to know that if you are the swallow who sang to me, that I love you very... <gasps> I... I hear a heartbeat. You're alive. Stay right here. Don't move. I'll be right back. Oh, I knew you were the swallow who sang to me. I just knew it. How did you end up down here? After I left you, I got lost. I spent the whole winter trying to survive. Then I wounded my wing on a thorn bush. When I landed, I dug into the ground to keep warm, and then I fell into this place. Well, lucky for you, Mr. Mole dug this tunnel. <clears throat> Who's Mr. Mole? Oh, an old mole I'm to marry. For someone who's getting married, you don't sound very happy. That's because I don't want to marry him. I'll be well soon. I could fly you away from here. I can't go. When Mona, the mouse I'm living with, saved me, I, I promised her I'd do anything she asked. But maybe you could warn the little people. Do you know where the Meadow of Tulips is? No, I'm afraid I don't. Oh, that's all right. Even if you could find the Meadow, the little people would hide from you. I'm sorry. I'll miss you when I leave. And I'll miss you. <laughs> she be? The cracks are getting worse and worse. The way this water's rising, the dam won't hold out much longer. Oh my, isn't this just the most beautiful dress you've ever seen? Yes, it's very beautiful. Well, you don't sound very excited. I'm sorry, Mona. It's just that it's spring now and the snow is thawing up in the mountains. It may be too late to fix the dam, but... If I could get to the meadow, I could still warn everyone to leave. Now, just hurry and put on your dress. You don't want to be late for your own wedding, do you? Ah, oh, it feels so good to be in the sunlight. Mm -hmm. You're going to live underground for the rest of your life, so I thought you'd enjoy one last look at the sun in the sky. But I thought you said Mr. Mole would take me to the Meadow of Tulips. I'm sorry to say so, Thumbelina, but you know moles spend their lives underground. You stay out here and enjoy yourself. I've got some last-minute wedding business to take care of. What can be taking that old coop so long? If he dares to try backing out of our deal, I'll... Hello, Mona. Beautiful day for a wedding, isn't it? And even a more beautiful day to pay the one who introduced you to your blushing bride. I failed. I let down father and the little people and the prince. Everyone's gonna be swept away when the dam breaks and... It'll be all my fault. <gasps> you came back! And with good news, I found the meadow of tulips you asked me about. Then there's still time. I promised to marry Mr. Mole. But if I don't go back and warn everyone about the dam bursting... Maybe Mr. Mole will let you put off the wedding long enough for you to go and warn everyone. That's a great idea. I'll ask Mona to... There's Mr. Mole. I think I've made a fine choice for a bride. Oh, more 
Fortune. Uh, you'll have a little trouble with her at first. She thinks you're going to take her to the Meadow of Tulips for her honeymoon. Foolish girl! Doesn't she know moles spend their lives underground? Oh, she'll learn, Morton. I'm sure she'll learn. <laughs> I don't understand. Mona must have made a bargain with Mr. Mole. The bags of corn in exchange for her getting you to marry him. And he'll never take me to the meadow. She sold me to him. Mona lied to me all along. I'm not going to feel bad about leaving her. Take me to the meadow of tulips, Swallow. We've got work to do. Dam's gonna burst. It's too late. It's just too late. Huh? Some help from my friend. Dam is saved. Thanks to your daughter. Your Majesty. Rise. I should be bowing before you. My people owe you a great deal. And I owe you my life. Will you marry me and be my princess? <laughs> 